and welcome to Gary Vapes and this is a video on the Smok Tech 247. It's a new little a pod system from Smok. Let's dive down, let's talk about some pros and cons and whether I'd actually recommend it. Okay, so here it is, the Smok Tech 427. Um, I've got it in this lovely gradient blue and as you can see it goes from blue to silver. It's quite nice. It's actually all metal made. It feels really, really nice. Um, it does come in a few different colours, so I'll put a picture up now for you to see that. And as you'd expect with Smok, there'll be a ton of other colours that come out um, in the future, no doubt. Um, but yes, Type-C charging is on the side, not on the bottom. Again, they've gone for that sort of rubber on the bottom to help it stand up. It stands up very nicely anyway because of the actual shape of it. And that is one thing I do like about it, is the shape. The airflow is on the side of the actual pot itself, and then you pull the pot out like so. And as you can see, it is a removable coil pod. It has got a rubber crappy filling system but it is on the top so you can't complain too much but I'm just not a fan of them generally. As you can see there on the side is the screen again it is that generic greeny bluey old-fashioned type thing but it's very very clear and it is a new screen but it is worth mentioning it. It has got the IQ chip in it as well which is nice um, so it does work quite well and um, the device itself will go up to 30 watts um, it's auto and button fire uh, again it's very much like the Novo Pro which we did a review on recently five clicks on five clicks off three clicks will take you into the wattage so one two three and then it will round robin from five to 30 watts like so um, and then um, four clicks will give you the option of just auto draw so once that goes off if we give it a couple of seconds there we go so one two three four there we go auto draw only so now that button won't actually fire the device push it four more times takes you back into dual mode um, so yeah that is quite nice the actual pods themselves, I should mention as well will come in either four mil or if you're in the UK or TPD type area you're going to be stuck with two mil so that is quite nice and the actual battery on this is the best thing it's a 1800 milliamp battery which is bloody huge and the drip tip isn't for everyone it's a very tight small round drip tip um, but yeah it's pretty decent as far as things go inside the box if you were to buy them for yourself as you'd expect there's not a great deal in there Oh, sorry. We're not, we're, uh, yeah, there was a pain to open these boxes. Um, but yes, inside, obviously, obviously that's where your actual device will be. And then underneath, God, there we go. There's all your goodies. Um, again, another bit of them blue bits. In fact, I just noticed the other blue bit from the other day. Um, yes, in there is your instruction manual, which is handy. You do get a little lanyard if you're into that type of thing. Not really for me, but it is there if you want it. And what is good is it has this cover, which will cover the top of your actual mouthpiece as well, which I do actually quite like. Um, I'd be tempted just to get rid of the lanyard and just have that on. Just slips on and then pops on the top. Um, your battery warning, your warranty and all that stuff. And then you do get a Type-C charging cable. One thing you will notice is you do get two coils as well. You get the um, the 0 0.8 and the 0 0.4M coils. Now, these are their own type of coil. They're not the same ones as you could use in the Novos and things like that. So as you can see there... It's a much more thinner and longer type one, but you do get two, so that is quite good. But right, as far as things to tell you, that is about it. So let's go up, let's talk about some pros and cons, and whether I'd actually recommend it. Okay, so there it is, the Smok Tech 247. Um, I'm not a fan of the great big Tech 247 written across the front of it. Um, I think they could have been a bit more subtle, um, but it is what it is. Um, pros and cons. Cons would be, obviously, the filling system. Rubber, crappy filling system. Not a fan of it. Um, it doesn't bother everyone, but it does bother me. Um, I don't know why, I just cannot seem to get them to work properly. I always end up with residue coming off of it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that is definite con. Another con would be the actual airflow. There's not enough movement on it for me. I mean, it's off, or it's very restricted. It's as simple as that. But then this is more for mouth to lungs, so that is worth bearing in mind. Um, another con I have got is these coils, and um, they are the M coil. As always, these are honest reviews. I will never be honest. This was sent to me from Smog, but I've got to be honest. These coils are not very good. Um, we'd gone from last week talking about the Novos coils being such an improvement to these, and yeah, I'm, I've, I've gone for about three or four of them already, if I'm honest with you, over the two weeks I've been testing it. it. They've just not held up. I don't know whether it's a bad batch. They were all from the same batch. I'm hoping it's that. So if you've tried this or you've got these pods or these coils, then let me know. Hopefully it's just me being unlucky, but I can only tell you my experience with them. I've had nightmares with them. Um, I've had them from literally seeping out the bottom of them and filling up the pod with juice to just lasting a matter of hours and then giving up. The one I've got in at the moment, luckily, touch wood, has been lasting for about three, four days. That's the best I've got out of one. Um, and it's starting to taste and feel like it's coming to the end of its life. 
But yes, that is it when it comes to comms, quite big ones admittedly. Um, good things though is it is top feel in a way. Now they describe this as a top feel system. Um, I'm calling you out right now, Smock. That's not top feel. Do not tell me that's a top feel system. Yeah, it feels from the top, but that's not top feel. Nice try, Smock. Nice try. Not having it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of top feel, but don't go buying it thinking top feel was in your normal top feel. It literally means you just fill it from the top, but it is still that crappy rubber filling system. And um, another good thing though is the actual body itself is all metal and it feels really well made. Um, it's one of the nicest products I've actually had from Smock when it comes to actual feel and build quality. It's a lovely shape. The contours and the curves fit nice in your hand. And with it being a nice solid metal, it really does feel nice. I like it a lot. I like the fact, obviously, they've done simple things that should just be normal now, but believe it or not, still aren't. But like putting the Type-C on the sides, so you haven't got to lay it down to charge it and stuff like that. I think that's fantastic. And um, when the coils are working, they're actually quite decent. For such a small coil, again, these are much, much more to do with mouth to lung they're not direct to lung so don't even try and do that and they do have very good flavor and the vapor production isn't too bad of them i mean i'll give you an idea now this was the 0.4 ohm um, coil in there and i'm vaping it around 14 watts you get a nice bit out of it and um, i was actually vaping it i must have changed it when it was down but i've actually vaping it around the 20 watt mark so if i put it on 20 watts this is how i've been sort of vaping Vape production and flavour is really good off of them. They just don't last enough. Um, the biggest pro for this load is that battery. At 1,800 milliamp, it is huge. That is a good battery, and you will have no problems with charging or keeping it charged for a whole day, no problem at all. It's really, really good in that thing. I like, again, it's got that rubber thing. We talked about that with the Novo. Just gives it a bit of grip when it is sort of standing up, um, but with the shape of it, it's not a problem standing up anyway, literally. Anyway, you want, it stands up nicely. Um, I don't know what the hand movement was about, but yeah, it stands up really, really nicely. Um, it comes down to ratings first, so 10 being it's amazing, one be thrown in the bin. I'm going to give it a, a six, um, right. and it comes down to whether I could recommend it or not. And because of the way the coils have acted for me in this, I don't think I can. I'm hoping to get some more coils for it soon. Um, I'll be going online after this, probably trying to see if I can source some to try. And if I do try and do manage to get hold of some and find any differences, I'll pin it in the comment down below. But if not, please do let me know if you've tried it. Because I'm hoping it's just unluckiness in the coils I got. Because I say, they dumped the juice out through them. They just didn't last very long at all. And it got to the point, like with anything in life, where it's so unreliable, you end up just not using it because you just can't be bothered with it. And it got to that feeling in the end. With the Nord, uh, the Novo, sorry, um, I would happily pick it up and go to work, not even think about it. With this, I'm like, oh, sorry, I better take it. I better take that as well, just in case, sort of thing. Which is not what you want at the end of the day. You know, it's all great, tasting nice, great vapor production, great battery, if you can't use it and enjoy it. So yeah, it's worth mentioning. So could I recommend it or not at the moment? Not from what I've experienced. Okay, so that's the end of the video. And yeah, it sums it up as that, really. Um, I can't recommend it because of the experience I've had with it. Um, I wouldn't recommend this to a very, very close friend, so I'm not going to sit here now and tell you, yeah, I would recommend it. As always, these are honest reviews. I've, I'm only ever going to be honest. And the way the coils for me performed, it's just not worth it. I'd say just go and get the bloody Novo or a Nord or whatever you want to do, especially if you're in this smock system the biggest problem for me is as well is the versatility of these m coils now there are three in total but there's not a big ecosystem of them they don't work in a ton of different devices like the others do so it's kind of it really is a strange one um th just so you know there is the um 0 0.8 the 0 0.6 and a 0 0.4 i'll put a picture up now for you to see um yeah it's it's a strange one they're a different coil their own system it's their own thing altogether. um just in a different shape, but yeah, it does pretty much the same thing as the Nords and Novos do anyway. I don't know why they didn't, I don't know, keep that shape, but try and incorporate them same pods or coils or something like that. But yeah, if, if this is the sort of thing you like, then go for it. And it is a shame because if it wasn't for them coil life, I would recommend it because I love the shape of it. I think the shape of it is really, really nice. We've seen, pardon me, we've seen some different shapes throughout the years on pods and this sort of pill shape as you'd call it is very nice and it's very well made yeah it's it's just a shame but with them coils i just can he do it anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button if you're not subscribed already please do subscribe and i'll see you again soon